friends, welcome to week 39 of the Homeschool Prayer Challenge. I hope you're doing well this week as we continue this journey of praying over our homeschools. Today, I want to talk about something that has been on my heart lately, or at least since I was singing it with my son the other week, letting our light shine. Sometimes it feels like we're just doing the daily grind, getting the lessons done, managing the home, juggling all the things. But the truth is God can use each and every one of these moments to shine his light through us in ways we might not even realize. Remember how last week I talked about God being in the details? And this is so, so true. As I was thinking about this concept of letting our lights shine, my BSF leader this week gave such a great analogy during our lecture last class. She compared the church, each of us who believe in Jesus, to a stained glass window. And there happens to be beautiful stained glass in the church that we meet at. And she said that each of us are like one of those pieces of the larger stained glass design, whatever you call it, that big design. When the light of Christ shines through us, like light shines through that stained glass window, each of us shines and magnifies different parts of God's character and design in the unique way he made each of us. When the light of Christ shines through us, we can beautifully represent Christ to our kids and even to the world. You guys, I know I'm not doing it justice. I think she shared the analogy much better than me, but maybe you get the picture. I just thought it was perfect. Sometimes we forget that the light of Christ lives in us. I know I can forget this. And we forget that through our faithfulness, we are shining his light, even in the day-to-day -day moments that might seem ordinary. Matthew 5, 14 through 16 says, you are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before men that they may see your good deeds and praise your father in heaven. What a powerful reminder. As believers, we are the light of the world. It's not a light we've created on our own. It's the light of Christ in us. And we're called to let that light shine, to reflect God's love, grace, and truth in everything we do, whether it's teaching a math lesson, making lunch for the hundredth time, or helping our kids work through challenges. As we go through the day homeschooling our kids, we have so many opportunities to reflect God's light, but we need to be mindful to pray continually, to keep our eyes on Jesus because it's his light that we want to reflect. Here's another way God was in the details this week. Seriously, you guys, he's just amazing. Um, so my husband was out of town for a work trip and we were chatting with the kids at night and my husband mentioned that there was a lunar eclipse going on. I had no idea that this was happening on that night. Um, but we all went to the window and sure enough, we saw a full moon except the top part was kind of cut off of it. And it reminded me again of this concept of letting our light shine. The moon obviously reflects the light from the sun, just like we are to reflect the light of Christ. But during a lunar eclipse, the earth gets in between the moon and the sun. So it's like the moon is looking at the earth and it doesn't shine how it normally would. And it's the same for us, isn't it? When we look to Jesus, when we are prayerful and intentional with our relationship with him, we reflect him more to those around us. But when we look at the earth, or in other words, the world, we reflect the world instead. Which one do we want to do? Which one do we want to reflect, right? So this week, let's pray boldly for the Lord to show us how to let our light shine, not just in the big, obvious ways, but in the small, daily moments of homeschooling. Ask him to open your eyes to the opportunities around you, whether it's showing grace to your children, sharing your faith with others, or simply being a reflection of his love in all that you do. Let me pray for us. Heavenly Father, I praise you for the gift of homeschooling and the opportunity to be a light to my family and others around me. Let me be aware of the Holy Spirit's prompting this week that I may encourage my kids, show kindness and patience, and let them see you through me. I know our lights are not meant to be hidden. Show me where you want to use me each day. Show me how you want us to use our time as a homeschool family to share the gospel and bring hope to a world lost in darkness. Use our strengths, talents, gifts, and our time, not for our own recognition, but for yours. 
And thank you for sending Jesus, our only light and salvation, who willingly made the ultimate sacrifice for us. May we be bold in letting our lights shine, that others may see our good works, be pointed to you, and give you glory. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. This week, as we go about our homeschooling, let's remember that God can use even the smallest moments to let his light shine through us. You are making a difference, and God is at work in your home, your family, and your heart. Let's embrace that and continue to shine for his glory. I'll see you next week.